She didn't see anything. I'm not asking you. I'm asking her. I already told Mrs. Jacobs I didn't see anything. Why would you say that? What? What was I supposed to do? Not say anything. You heard him. He was going to call the police. No, he wasn't. He was bluffing, and you fell for it because you're a fucking idiot. Why do you even care? Because you just ruined someone's life. Fesco almost killed Nate. That was his decision. Lexi had thought about that night a lot. How could Fesco be so kind to her and so violent towards Nate? She couldn't remember the last time someone her age asked her so many questions about herself. He actually cared about what she had to say. And then 10 minutes later, almost beat Nate Jacobs to death. And even if Nate deserved it, it was a horrible thing to do. It made her think about her entire life. She hated herself for being so weak and passive and afraid. So a couple of days after Cal came over, she decided to say something. I think it's cute that I'm so fucking stupid, tired of being useless. I've been up for three days, everything is haunted. Everybody's evil and there's ghosts inside the carpet. Do you think I'm frightening? Organ cords and lightning. If I show my fangs, will you tell me that they're cool? Mirror shatter when I'm passing, broken glass and crashing. Let's see how we're. How you doing? Good. Um. Hi. I'm Faye. I'm Lexi. Um. Are, are you guys? Yeah. No. She's just staying with me for a bit. But but she's cool though. What brings you out here anyway? Oh, I just came to get a, a drink. Okay, well, we got plenty of those. Do uh, you need help finding anything? No, I'm okay. Oh, uh, that's the malt liquor. Yeah, I know. Yo, sorry I didn't get to say goodbye on New Year's. Good evening. What's up, man? This your store? It's a family business. Your parents own it. Ask this many questions, man. She tell you who I am? Nah, man. Are you a cop? 